Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use fraps to get AVI demo quality. So two programs you need, you're obviously going to need fraps and you're also going to need COD4 demo player. Now the principles of this are if you go and set up you'll see all your slow speeds here and as you can see the like, slow speed is 0 0.5. Now all of these are a kind of division of 1, 1 being normal speed so 0 0.5 is half normal speed now <coughs> in Sony Vegas the maximum time scale you can times it by is times by 4 so what we're going to use is in the ultra slow speed setting if we put that to 0 0.25 that is a quarter of normal time speed so when we times it in Vegas by 4 it will give us normal speed and in fraps if you set your FPS benchmark or your FPS capture settings to something your computer can handle which will give a constant frame rate um, when you times it by 4 later on in Vegas it will give you the high FPS you want um, if your computer can handle it I'd say go for 50 FPS so when we times it by 4 later on it will give us 200 uh, my computer is getting on a bit plus I'm using Camera Studio so I'm going to use 25 which will give me 100 FPS when I times it by 4 later on. So once you've set up your Vega, um, your fraps and you've set up your time scale speed in your setup in your demo player, if you want to go and open up a demo, okay. So when you're ready to record, press the number two on your number pad, which will give you the ultra slow speed in the demo, uh, default is 2, so you start that and then start recording with fraps this will then set the time scale to 0 0.25 and recording at 25 fps ok that will probably be enough for this demo, start recording with fraps <coughs> quit the demo, close that down there then you want to go and open up your Vegas go and find your fraps folder go into the movies and load the clip you've just recorded I mean it's this one I'll just turn the audio down because it's just me talking right um, to make this normal speed what you want to do is press your control button and click on the end of the video clip and drag it all the way over to the left as far as it will go that is now as you'll probably see it's now normal speed to get the audio to match up, which you're going to need to do, you need to click right click on the audio, go to properties, tick normalize, press recalculate and then tick lock to stretch. So normalize, recalculate, lock to stretch. Press OK, and that's recalculated the audio and it's now in sync with the video. You won't be able to hear it because I haven't recorded any sound. So that's how you do it. Um hope this tutorial helps and thanks for watching.